Hi there, I'm Cheryl Harold. I'm an occupational therapist with the Racker Centers. This week, I'm going to be doing a little video for you guys about woodland animals to go along with the weekly theme. So come along and check out what I got. I went around my yard and I gathered some things from outside, some nuts, different sized pine cones, found some nice leaves, some uh, pine needles. I have some felt at home. Can use construction paper, pipe cleaners, um, flowers, anything you find around the house for us to make some woodland animals. So my first examples, going to be a little turkey, just like from Arthur's Thanksgiving. So I took some, woo, we lost an eye. Took some felt that I had and I practiced cutting little triangles and I glued them on the back of my turkey. I took some of the little pine cones and I'm gonna poke them in. A little glue. For his eyes and I took my marker and I colored them black and I cut a little diamond out for his little beak and put it in a sew and I'm gonna put them on my leaf I'm gonna add a little glue and stick them on my leaf and there's my little woodland turkey friend from Arthur Ta-da! Using things around the house. I think we're gonna do our rabbit friend here next. Here's my little idea. Once again, I took a pine cone I had around the house. I think we're gonna add some ears to our little turkey or rabbit friend. Rabbits have big ears sticking up. I got a little pink felt nose that I caught. Hmm, eyes, maybe some blue eyes. There. Hmm. Maybe we'll turn his nose this way. Rabbits have whiskers. What could I use for whiskers? Maybe some of my pine needles I found. Little glue, stick him in. Wow, he's gonna have long whiskers. And there's my rabbit whiskers. How's that? I like. Can get as creative as you want. And then our next little buddy here. How about we do a mouse? Once again, taking a pine needle, pine cone, some parts. Gonna need some pine needles too. Let's see. I like using the dried ones. But you can use fresh ones, whatever you find. Take a walk around your neighborhood, down your street, down your road, in your backyard. Let's see. And get some ears. Our little mouse. Some little eyes. Little nose. some whiskers, 
your whiskers are too long, you can always take scissors and trim them. I might need to trim my whiskers. Kind of long. I think I need to trim them. He needs a little haircut. want pink and you don't have another color maybe you could color it make it a little darker squeak squeak goes the mouse how about that oh and a mouse needs a tail let's give our mouse a little tail there not bad we can get creative as we want hmm what might we have here? Mousy. Could put a little piece of wood next to him. Could use whatever we got. All right, there's our mouse. He needs time to dry. Lay him down. There you go, Mousy. Okay. Oh, I think we found a little bear little bear. I took some baby pine cones and glued them on there. Put a little pine cone for a nose. You could use whatever you have. Maybe some construction paper. Maybe you have some play-doh you want to roll around and make little eyes for them. You can do whatever you want for your little bear. Hmm. No, that'd be too big. Need some little ones for his eyes, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I think we got a good start on him. Another one we might want to try is an owl. A hootie hoo owl. Gotta have a beak. Maybe some eyes. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, some wings. I think my wings might need to be a little bit bigger. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Give him some eyes. Ooh, we need a beak for his nose. Hoo hoo. I think maybe I made his eyes a little too big. wings like our owl hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. and you can get as creative as you want <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I kind of like that I better cut that And there's our owl. Hootie hoo, hootie hoo. So I'll put him over there. Next, our turkey friend. And another thing I like to do, thinking of our woodland animals, is when you're out collecting all your stuff, if you come across some dandelions, these are great for practice, practicing your scissor skills. Take a small pair of scissors outside with the kids, find a bunch of dandelions, and practice cutting them. Let the kids cut the stems, bring a bunch inside to decorate your house, make it look beautiful, and bring in some dandelions. Well, thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you guys are well. Miss you.